Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 119, verse 12. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. And God is blessed. He is blessed. He is blessed because he is perfect in every way that you can imagine and in every way that you can't even imagine. He is perfect. And in order for us to share in that blessedness, we have to know the Word of God. And we have to live the Word of God. Our degree of joy and blessedness is determined by our degree of godliness. 13. With my lips have I declared all the ordinances of thy mouth. He declared the ordinances of God with his mouth. In other words, he taught what he had been taught. Notice that. With my lips I have declared all the ordinances of thy mouth, of God's mouth. So what he heard God say is what he taught. That is what he declared. He taught what God taught him. It isn't right to speculate on what God has not revealed. And it is not right to withhold what God has revealed. Jesus said, freely you have received, freely give. 14. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. He had more fun with the word of God than the world has with all of their money combined. You know, we can have all the word of God that we want. It's impossible to overindulge. We can have all that we want. We can gorge ourselves with the holy word of God. And it's a whole lot better than chocolate cake. It's a whole lot better than a trip to Disneyland. You can't overdo it, and it's the best thing in the world. Look at 14 again. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. And I'll tell you what, anyone who loves the Word of God like this writer did knows the Lord Almighty for sure. He knows God. How can I tell? Because he loved the word so much. The word of God is boring to those who are lost and on their way to hell. The word of God is a waste of time. It's boring. It's nonsensical to lost damned souls who have no relationship with God through Jesus Christ. They can't stand it. It means nothing to them. They'd rather watch paint dry. But it's the delight of the saved in Christ. 15. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. When you love something, you think about it. When you love someone, they're on your mind. And that's why when you love Christ and therefore love his word, you'll think about his word and you'll meditate on his word and you'll think about Jesus. And I'm going to stop. Study the whole Bible with me, verse by verse at the Bible, verse by verse.com. Choose, click, and listen. Four series going through all 66 books of the Bible, verse by verse. To be a part of this ministry, pray for me and God's word and click the donate button at the top of the front page at the Bible, verse by verse.com. And prayerfully give us a Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break.